in Colombia, that you're in Liberia. I think if through this exhibit we can help people to, to truly sense what it feels like, to connect them to those caught in conflict. It's our hope that this exhibit is going to raise questions in your mind about what more can be done for these 33 million people that are uprooted by war around the world. The response to their plight, I think we would all say, it remains inadequate. And the rights of refugees are being eroded, and people displaced within their own countries have little or no rights at all. And until conditions for these people are improved, we are going to continue as an organization to speak out on their behalf. The next station is another example. Um, this is BP-5. This is a food that might be given out in a real emergency where there aren't other kinds of food available. It's portable and oh, one wafer has a lot of calories. So an adult can live on this stuff for, you wouldn't want to do it permanently, but for some period of time. Yeah. Try it. Can I try it? Yeah. Try it. I want to do it. You can do what I do. I always smell it. Oh, this is good. It is? It's 2100 calories, which is a standard. Yeah. Oh, it's 10 gallons. Very important. Look at this. You've got to do it again. I learned that in many countries, they're very poor and the way they live, like we should be grateful for what we have because they live very badly and it's really sad. Like even food and going to the bathroom is like very hard for them. It made me more aware that, you know, other countries, they don't have what we have now. And I, I like, I want to be more aware, like more, more involved with this, you know, society. And I want to help out as much as I can when I get older.